little siblings, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Obviously, I look very rough today. I just woke up, but that is a-okay because today we're gonna let my 16-year-old self get me ready, give me a tutorial on what I should do to get ready. I've been on YouTube for like five years now. I feel like a lot of you guys know me from like my high school era. And so I'm gonna be watching a tutorial on my makeup from when I was in high school. And this will definitely be interesting because I hated makeup when I was in high school. Um, and then I'm gonna put on an outfit that I might have worn when I was in high school and just like basically get ready like like I would when I was 16. Before we continue, I want to thank Ombre Lab for sponsoring today's video. If you are struggling with a health problem and you don't know what it is, it could be due to your gut health. And that's what Ombre Lab is here to help you with. So basically, they send you this kit at home with easy to follow instructions, and they're gonna use a sample of your poop to test your gut health. This is because your poop is an effective way to test your gut bacteria. So if you're struggling with things such as bloating, constipation, abdominal pain, maintaining a healthy weight, weak immune system, constipation, getting sick, acne, eczema, even your daily happiness and mental health can be affected by your gut health. But if you can't figure out what the cause is, it could be your gut. So your gut contains trillions of bacteria, and when your body doesn't have enough of the good bacteria, the bad bacteria flourishes. And when that happens, you could start to get these symptoms. And that is where Ombre Lab comes in. They have these at-home tests to help you out with that. So they'll send you your kit, this is what it looks like. You follow the instructions and then send it back to them and they will send you your results. So your results will include a breakdown of your gut bacteria, the health issues it may be causing, and what specific foods you need to consume more of or less of. They'll even develop personalized probiotics to help heal your gut with a subscription. So if you're struggling with any of these symptoms, I would highly recommend using Ombre Lab. You can go to tryombre.com slash Sydney to get $30 off your test. So go check them out. Thank you for sponsoring again. And let's continue with this video. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up so I can do my makeup. All right, put on my headphones and let's watch my tutorial. This is what 16 year old Sydney has to recommend for my makeup today. Ooh, okay, hello. It looks like we're gonna be doing like a really simple look, which what did I expect? This is high school Sydney. Hello siblings, welcome to today's video. I'm. I'm loving the hype, loving how excited I am. Super excited for this video, just because I know that you guys <coughs> really, really want it. You can request it like literally every day. And it is a makeup tutorial. I just wanna point out, we have like some lit music in the background here. Cool. And so basically I'm just gonna show you guys um, how I do my makeup. That's what a makeup tutorial is. Okay, good job, Sydney, wow. All right. So my opinion here on makeup, I, barely ever wear makeup. I don't wear makeup to school ever. I barely ever wear it after school. Um, this is so like pick me vibes, but I really wasn't trying to be a pick me. That's just genuinely how I felt. But like, why did I always make such a big deal out of it? So first thing I do is I use this go. concealer. All right, concealer. Um, it's a cover girl. I don't know, I just got it at Walgreens. Also fun fact, I don't care about brands or anything. Like there's certain mascaras that I love and certain things I love, but like, I don't. I okay, don't get like, to the point. So I put it like under my eyes. Okay, that really flopped, but it's fine. And then on any blemishes and. Okay, so we're gonna go under the eyes like that. I do not do my concealer like this anymore. <laughs> any blemishes? Uh, I think I'm good today. I have like a hole in my head. Maybe I'll do Oh, I cover my hole. Okay. Did my dad drop. Cover the hole. Anyway. Unnecessary information. Then I use my beauty blender. I don't I don't ever get this anymore. Apparently you should put I don't get it wet. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is gonna feel so Oh, let me just watch what she does. I don't really care. Anyway. And I just blend it. Oh my gosh, she's like aggressively rubbing it in. Okay. Gotta do what she does. This is foul. It doesn't like blend out, it's like in one spot. Oh my gosh. Also, she doesn't even like tap it in, she like rubs it. So we're gonna do that. This is absolutely disgusting. Okay, <laughs> concealer, done. And then sometimes I'll just like take the extras and put it on my nose because I always have a stuffy nose so it's always red right there. And then I take any type of powder would work. I used to use a lighter one, but I ran out. So I use this a little bit darker one. It's just from Revlon. Just a powder and I put it all over my face. Oh my gosh, you know what's so embarrassing? I still have the same brush. <laughs> I think I still have a lot of the same brushes, but so it looks like we're just taking powder everywhere. 
Especially over where I put the concealer. Okay. Most of the stuff I get is from like Walgreens or a drugstore. Anything I mean, new. still same. And then, what do I do next? Um, I do my bronzer and blush next. So I use this brush that I literally got from Walmart. Oh, this I don't brush. use that brush um, anymore. It's Elf. I still have that brush. I just recently upgraded to some new brushes. <laughs> and I use this Elf like brush. I was using that Elf palette literally until probably like seven months ago. So. <laughs> blush bronzer kit it just comes with blush and bronzer so today my upgrade is just this like wet and wild contour palette i use the bronzer out of here and then my blush i don't know what brand this is because it's like faded out oh madison miller i don't know i got it in a ipsy bag because i used to subscribe to that and i put bronzer here i think i still do it the same you know i feel like makeup like there isn't a right way to do it like as long as it looks good on you then it works. Fair enough, and I put blush on. And then, that's it, we're already here. Okay, so we're doing blush. I, did she just use the same brush? She did, she used the same brush. You know what, for nostalgic reasons, I should've, since I have the brush, I should've just used the same. But, oh well. I have this like unicorn brush. <laughs> All right, so we're just doing some blush. Got it. If it looks good, let me know and I'll do it in my next video. Okay, she's trying to it. figure out how to do lighting. Now I have a full on ring light, so. We don't worry about that anymore. I use highlighter, but I use it from my naturalized Too Faced. I might still have this palette. Um, right, eyeshadow. Want. So I just use the like silk teddy color, and I use it. Okay, I don't know why I would have ever gotten rid of that, but I guess I don't have it anymore. I used to wear that palette every day of my life. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I guess what we can do, I'll just use highlighter, honestly. Hopefully I can find some. I know I, I don't really wear it very often, but I know I have it. Here. Okay. A little bit on here, here. Sometimes on the nose. All right. And then a little bit here and here. A little on the nose. And I use this brush. It's also an elf brush. Okay. So next is my eyeshadow. So I start. Okay. With so I don't have this palette anymore. Most of my palettes are like more like orangey. This one has like some nudes and browns in it. I also use this that's nude. This has some neutral tones. Okay, I think we can make it work. Even this has some, so let's just see what I do here. I got out all my palettes. Color. So I'm gonna start with, this color is pretty similar. And I just put it everywhere on my okay. eyes because that's what you do with eyeshadow. You put it on your eyes. Oh, and I use this brush. Um, Actually, probably still have I don't brush know. too. Ave, it says Avon on it. Okay, so then I take Cashmere Bunny right up in here. Okay, and so this actually like, is more of like a purpley color. What is this called? Your crease? I put it in my crease. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what color I should use that brushes that. Because I don't want to go too dark. I think this is the brush that I'm using in the tutorial, so. Back to this brush. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this color and put it in the crease. This might be somewhat the same color. I don't know. So the next thing I would do is take Sex Espresso right up here. Okay, so and I'm gonna take a dark brown. The, uh, same same brush. Eye. Gently. So I'm just gonna take this dark brown and put it in the corner of my eye. So then if I wanna get sparkly, I take Push Up, this middle okay. color, and I just kinda put it um, so I'm gonna take my Naked Heat palette and just mess around with the sparkles. Then I'll take like Silk Teddy or Push Up and put it like in the corner of my eye. Okay, like that. Well, that's what hers looks like. This is what mine looks like. I think I just have better lighting and more intense colors, but it's pretty much the same. I think what is going on? So next, I'm gonna go ahead and so my mascara, I freaking love it. Um, I actually might still have some of that mascara lying around. Used to be my favorite, so I had a lot of it. The reason I liked this mascara is because the reason I hated wearing makeup was also because I hated taking off mascara. This mascara like peels off into the water, so it's like water resistant or whatever, waterproof. So I really liked it. And you put the white side on first. Okay. Good step one, step two type of thing. And so I just go ahead and put that on. Same and thing. I just kind of like 
so I like fill in like I think right, I still do like, it on the, the same. very bottoms and then the very tops and then like yeah. right here. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I rose are filled in. I think the last thing is to put on the black side of the mascara. Alright, so it looks like that's the end of the video and this is the final makeup look. I'd say it's pretty similar to the one in the video and honestly not that far off from what I do now. It's just like less and not quite put on as well, but it's really not bad. Like I'd wear this out. I am a little uncomfortable that I'm not wearing eyeliner because as you guys know now, I pretty much wear eyeliner as like a day-to-day -day thing, winged eyeliner. It's a little uncomfy, but other than that, honestly, I'm gonna take out my headphones. Honestly, not that bad at all. So here's the look. So next up, I'm gonna go pick out an outfit that I think I would wear when I was in high school. This should be pretty easy. Let's go do it. Okay, so I just went and threw something on. This is definitely very Sydney in high school. I, this shirt is literally something that I got when I was 15. Um, it's an element shirt, and this is like the length of shirt I would always wear, maybe a little shorter. Like the shirt I'm wearing in that was probably like this length. And then I'm wearing my staple American Eagle. These aren't the exact same ones from high school, but they're the exact same ones from high school, you know what I mean? I've gone through like three or four of these exact pair of jeans. They're from American Eagle. They're the best jeans ever. They come just like straight all black and then I cut holes in the knees. This is very Sydney. This is staple. Now the one thing I can't do is wear high top bands because I got rid of all my high top bands because I have this weird attachment with my high top bands. Like I thought they were like cool, so I just kept them forever and then I realized I literally never wore them but I do have some slip-ons and I used to always wear white sneakers in high school anyway so I think this is a good enough representation now I have a few other things I need to do to represent Sydney in high school one is to do my hair now obviously I have these in right now but Sydney in high school used to wear my hair like this all the time it was like my staple hairstyle i always got questions about it and stuff it's the double half braid so we're gonna do that and of course gotta hide the bangs because sydney in high school would have never gotten bangs she was scared of them i had them in fifth grade and they did not look good so then i was scared of them also can i just say that watching this video has made me want to dye my hair just like a nice blonde balayage again and have it be just like a little more natural and kind of grow it out i think that would be a vibe maybe i'll do that next Okay, we have the two half braids in, and honestly, the dreads are a vibe because I know 16 year old Sydney really wanted them, but I hadn't met Ellie yet. My cousin who makes them. Or she married my cousin, that's why I had a better yet. But this is a vibe. Okay, one more thing. The iconic thing that I have to do to be Sydney. If you can comment down below what it is right now, then you are definitely an OG. <sighs> the bracelets. The thousand bracelets. Here we go. I'll tell you what, I was about 17 and I got a partnership with Pure Vita which is why I literally have a thousand of their bracelets. And it was the best thing that's ever happened to me because at the time, it's all I wore. I also had this one bracelet that you can see in the video that was blue and it like wrapped around a lot. I would still wear that to this day if it didn't break and I'm so mad that it broke and I don't think they make them anymore. But that was like an iconic bracelet for me and it was like a friendship bracelet um, with my sister and Pay 12. Okay, I accidentally made this whole arm blue. I guess that fits the blue bracelet vibe. Now, if you can remember this, you're really an OG. All right, here we go. I would have never been caught wearing a cross necklace in high school because Mormonism. So, don't get me wrong, I still love this necklace. Wow, I'm definitely giving off 16 year old Sydney vibes right now and I kind of love it. Okay, so this is the final look. We've got the black jeans, the vans, the like skater shirt vibes, the half braids, the very simple makeup, the Kendra Scott necklace, the lots of bracelets, obviously not the tattoos because I was a teenager, but I mean, come on. 16 year old Sydney was definitely onto something. I look good, I look great, I love this. I love these vibes. And I've been wanting to wear more bracelets a lot anyway, so maybe I'll keep these on for a while. I was definitely onto something, because this is a mood. Now, I will say, I don't think I've strayed too far from this. Like, I still dress like this almost every day, just maybe leggings instead. Um, I think I still dress very similar to how I did in high school, because, you know, when you have a look, you have a look. I think I still kind of, uh, what's the word? 
put off the same vibe so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you watched whenever this was my vibe hope you guys enjoyed watching me switch up into my 16 year old self again thank you once again to ombre labs for sponsoring this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye